for us this morning. Brian, good morning. Well, good morning, Paula and Dan. An urgent, urgent search underway now for the bomber. A frightening night with one bomb exploded and a second device discovered a short distance away. And while the New York City mayor says there is no evidence of terrorism, investigators tell us it's still too soon to know for sure just who is responsible. Under construction in a big dumpster outside, and then there's a building that's occupied. All the windows are blown out. This church, the windows are blown out. Glass all over. The entire block, all the windows were blown out. There's a Capital One bank. First floor might be blown out. Uh, I don't know if it's terrible related. No idea. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo calling the incident an act of terrorism, but saying investigators have so far found no links to international groups. No one has taken credit. There have been no international groups uh, that have put out any statements that are connecting them with this action. Uh, now it depends on your definition of terrorism. Uh, a bomb uh, exploding in New York is obviously a an act of terrorism, but it's not linked to international terrorism. In other words, we find no ISIS connection, etc. The governor deploying a thousand extra police officers throughout Manhattan in the wake of the blast. Surveillance video from about 8.30 p.m. Saturday night appears to capture the moment the explosion erupted from inside a dumpster on West 23rd Street. Officials have not yet determined what caused the blast, but did say the device was planted intentionally. Another possible explosive, reportedly a pressure cooker with wires attached and connected to a cell phone, was found about four blocks away but removed safely. All evidence is being sent to the FBI for analysis. The explosion came hours after a pipe bomb went off ahead of a charity race in a New Jersey beach town Saturday morning. No one was injured in that case, but federal authorities are investigating. I spoke with Governor Christie this morning, and we're coordinating uh, resources between New York and New Jersey to see if there's anything we can learn. But uh, the bombs that were in Seaside, New Jersey, appear to be different than the ones uh, that were in Manhattan. By Sunday morning, all 29 of those injured in New York had been released from By Sunday morning, all 29 of those injured in New York had been released from...